right, so hey guys, how's it going? Good, guys. Yeah. What's up, Angela? Okay, so um, let, let's start off with uh, what, what's um, what's your experience, or what are your experiences in, in the world of music? <laughs> I guess everyone sings since they're little, you know, everyone starts singing, whether they're good or not, it's a different issue, but um, I started singing with my church. Uh, I became like a worship leader, so pretty much like twice a week, we would, I would lead like the worship and stuff, and then do auditions, I did musicals, and uh, that's pretty much it, I guess, still sing every week, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> elementary school, um, I joined the choir, I'm a junior cantor at my temple, so I help lead services. I've been doing musicals forever. <laughs> I started singing at my church's children choir, second grade, and then I had to stop fifth grade because I wasn't a child anymore. <laughs> that was pretty much it. <laughs> several records I've uh, put out, and uh, CDs I guess you'd say, and uh, been uh, writing music for a uh, Quite a few years now, um, and uh, this particular tune, um, I uh, wanted to make sure that uh, it, I tried to channel an experience uh, from from high school. Uh, it's been a long time since I was in high school, so the idea was that uh, I always see this every year that uh, the kids' uh, uh, friendship circle disappears. Uh, the very idea of seeing your friends every day uh, is just going to be gone a week from today, uh, on Friday, the day of finals. It is over. Yet they don't realize that. They just think they're always going to see their friends. And it's so hard. And they, uh, for some kids, they really, really miss uh, this circle. They'll get new circles. They'll get even better friends, possibly. But uh, they'll be different. And that's what I was just trying to uh, um, I'm just trying to explore. <laughs> I was actually um, a male soprano. It, it was really weird, but strangely enough, I could get those those extremely high notes. Um, but then when I hit puberty at all, <laughs> went down the drain. Uh, I'm in a band. Uh, do sort of alternative rock or uh, pop and things like that. So um, we we put out one CD, and apparently everyone liked it, or the people that we meet like it. <laughs> Mr. Jones, when you wrote this song, did you already have in mind um, who you wanted to perform this? <laughs> uh, that uh, uh, Leia had sung, I've seen her sing, so that was one. And then uh, as I just started from there, I said, you know, there's four verses, let's get some other kids, there must be some other kids that can sing. And then uh, I didn't want it to you know, get slammed with just uh, the girls, so that's why I asked uh, Angela. And, uh, but I didn't ask Angela. I didn't even think of Angela because Angela is such a quiet guy and such a uh, modest. modest fella. And it was Leia who suggested, uh, you know, have you thought about Angela? And so, yeah, so, uh, that's the voice you hear on the CDs. I was so excited. I just thought it was really cool, like the whole idea of it, that um, Mr. Jones wrote this whole song for us, that really, like, for our class. I loved it. I got it. As soon as I heard it, I was like, oh my god, I have to do this. And yeah, he brought in all this professional equipment, and it was really cool. Uh, I thought it was really cool, too, the fact that he had written it, and just doing it, you know, with people from the Magnet, too, and just, like, making a video and everything. I thought it was really cool. And then the experience is also cool. I felt like Selena. Have you guys seen that part of the movie where she's just <laughs> we did our thing. I mean, uh, was that new to you in any way, or have you had done that before? <laughs> it was a kid's CD. I got paid fifty dollars to do background <laughs> vocal tracks, but um, it was cool going back and doing it again. It was my second time. <laughs> We're putting out um, Christmas CDs and like things like that, so we recorded. And had it all like too. <laughs> they had this studio and they were giving out free recordings, so you just have to sign up. So me and my friends kind of just like were like, let's do this, and then we picked like a random song that we kind of made up on the spot. <laughs> Do you feel like you know what you're doing? Oh, doing no, 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 no. And none of us are like professional, so I mean, it was a fun thing to do, but... It was, it was difficult. Uh, <laughs> for one thing, uh, they didn't know the song. Uh, nobody really did. <laughs> to put all of us together in one room to record this uh, was... Uh, I knew it was going to be... Uh, we pressed for time. And these guys really... Uh, I was really impressed. I was, you know, 
it, it's not an insult, but I was surprised how fast it came together and uh, how, uh, uh, how devoted they were to making it better. Uh, this is not the type of music I write or play, but uh, it's a chord progression that I'd had sitting around uh, for, uh, for a long time. And uh, uh, it, uh, I just couldn't get it out of my head when I was thinking of uh, getting this video done. Uh, a lot of destiny sounds. Not a cheesy line. Cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my kid would say, is it cheesy? And I said, yeah, I think it's, it's pretty cheesy. You know, yeah, yeah, it's what it is. It's like, you can't have a graduation. I know, that is pretty cheesy. And all the all the Yeah, it's, it was, you know, could have been a Titanic. You know? <laughs> but that wasn't your perception when you started writing it. Oh, I knew it was going to be cheesy. Okay. Yes, I wanted to make sure, you know, put it in everything. The, the kitchen sink, all of those lines. You know? Oh, great. I really like the idea in it that um, you have this circle of friends, especially in high school, and everyone's going different places for college and whatever their after school, uh, after high school plans are. Um, that you have this support network that's been there for you, and they really have to be able to let you go. And the things that you've learned from each other and shared together are only going to make you stronger, and you're going to grow and, and learn from them. And um, you know, they let you fly, like the song says. <laughs> and they know when it's time for you to like let go and when it's time for them to let you go and move on and <laughs> you're gonna say goodbye to these guys and hopefully you're you've been made better uh, by by knowing them and that's I hope that's what happens no I, I was gonna say that the part of the song that I chose um, I actually chose it with my situation in mind the fact that I'm getting married in like 28 days so <laughs> who's counting though um, <laughs> and yeah, it talks about basically your friends being there um, while you're making decisions that maybe other people don't agree with. And when you're walking in like in a situation where you don't exactly know what you're getting into, you don't exactly know what's going to happen, you know, inserting all that stuff and having your friends there to still support you through that. So I, I chose that part of the song. I really like the worship.